Hello and welcome to Out of My Mind. My name is Robison Wells. Today I want to talk about turning your weaknesses into strengths. First of all, I want to say that as someone who suffers from schizophrenia, which is kind of viewed as the big daddy of mental illnesses, um, I view OCD as a much scarier problem. With schizophrenia, I hear things that aren't there, and I see things that aren't real, and I believe things that aren't true, but OCD controls my brain, and it tells me what to do, and it forces me to do things, and it causes huge anxiety if I don't give in to the impulses. OCD is the worst. But I've managed to find some coping mechanisms with OCD that actually help me get stuff done. There's the obvious one, where I can let OCD take over a project that I'm doing, and I can get so narrowly focused into that project uh, that OCD takes over, and I have to get it done, and I have to do it. So let's take a light example. I paint miniature soldiers. Here is a picture of some soldiers that I have painted while I have been mentally healthy. Now these are cool guys. They're called the Sanguinary Guard. Uh, they have jetpacks, but they also have these wings. They're awesome. I believe I painted them really, really well. It is an artistic outlet for me, and it's something where I can let OCD get me in the groove of something, and then I work on it and work on it, and get it done and produce a good result. On the other hand, there was a time when I was really sick, but I had a lot of disposable income. And so I bought tons and tons of these miniature soldiers. Right here are some uh, space marines. Uh, you can tell that they're very poorly painted, and it's because I would buy tons of these models, I would paint them terribly, uh, and I would move on, and it was my OCD acting up, saying, uh, you need to get as much done as you possibly can. So it's all a matter of managing my OCD, which I do through medication, and which I do through meditation, and which I do through therapy. Um, and when I can manage my OCD, I can really accomplish good things. So let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday I decided that I was going to set a goal that I was going to write 6,000 words on my work in progress. That's a big deal for me because I've been averaging about 1,500 words a day, and that's not good enough. Uh, I made a promise to somebody that I would let them read a rough draft of the book uh, in early September. So I've got to have an er a draft of this book in early September. But I decided to harness my OCD, and so what I did is I cracked open my writing log spreadsheet, which I'm going to show you now. I'm not going to explain this sheet because it's not terribly user-friendly, but I know how it works and it's extremely motivating. I set hourly goals, usually about 750 words, and every hour on the hour I enter them into the spreadsheet. It cranks out results like how many words I hit and whether I'm hitting my goals and how many words I've written in the day and how many more I have to do before I reach the end of the day. Uh, and numbers are a big thing for OCD for me and this spreadsheet works great. Not to get all churchy on you, but there's a great scripture that I love uh, that says that God will turn our weakness into strength. OCD is not a superpower, and I don't know if it would be considered a strength at this point yet, but I know that it is a weakness, and that that weakness can be turned into a strength, and I can do things like yesterday, my goal was 6,000 words, I wrote 6,147 words, and I got it done. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.